Hi, my name is Hubert Baumeister and this is the third part of a two-part series on how to develop people processes. The first part dealt with writing the people processes and offering a service. The second part dealt with people calling another uh, web service. And now the third, third part is about debugging people processes. So if something goes wrong, what happens? Now, I have my test case here and I'm run my test case and we will see that the test case fails. Now it fails because of some fault was not handled in the process code. This already gives some indication where the error appears. So it must have reached the beeper process and an error has it to have occurred in the beeper process and there was no fault handler for that error. And that is, this fault was just then put into a SOAP, uh, a SOAP fault and sent back to the client. Now, how do we find out what is actually wrong? Now, we can actually try to uh, uh, read the error message here, but actually it's quite, it's easier to go to the output and to the glassfish because here you will see a stack trace of what has happened. And we go back to this point and you see uh, it happened on an activity called invoke1. This is on line number 38. And what happened is when I when it, uh, the invoke was called, then a message came back uh, 404 not found. So this actually means several things. This means we have correctly sent the have the correct URL that addresses a web server because if there is no web server on that address then we would not see a 404 error we would see another type of error so 404 means we have reached a web server but the path uh, was not correct or in our case uh, yes uh, in our case it's that the concat app was not deployed and therefore we cannot uh, get the, therefore we get this error. So this is a way of finding out what happened here. So it's something in this invoke one and if you go for the line number you go to source and then you can go to the, the uh, line number here invoke and it will be shown at the uh, bottom right corner I'm not sure if the video is actually going to show this, uh, line 38. Now, <clears throat> another way to find out where everything stops and what actually happens and why it stops is to start uh, the debugger. To do this, you go to the application, the Beeple application, and uh, say debug Beeple. This will deploy the project again and will create a debugger session and you can see here the debugger uh, uh, controls. Now we have to have still a client that we call and we have our web uh, uh, JUnit client here we run the file and now of course the debugger stops at the breakpoint we have set. So the breakpoint is indicated by this red flag here and it's toggled by toggle breakpoint here and you have to set a breakpoint for to for it to stop otherwise uh, it just runs through and runs into the error so now we have we are in the process we can see and we have controls that we can actually go into the uh, go over the action or into uh, the action or a step out and so on. Now we just here uh, first go to an, uh, first to Beeple process instances. Here this is the Beeple instances that is running. It can actually happen that several instances are running and uh, in particular if you have uh, errors then it can happen that you have a lot of instances here running and at some point you will have to terminate them by hand 
but now we actually want to debug this so another important uh, tab is here the variables where we can actually see the value of the variables and here you can see none of these values has been set because the receive operation here has not been uh, completed so we're going to do this we step over the receive operation and we're going to see that now hello world in has uh, the value uh, world set now we can then uh, step through the assign and through all the copy operations and now we see here that we have concat in the parameters are set first the R R argument uh, 0 is hello and the argument 1 is world and then we are now at the invoke operation and when we step over this or step into this then we actually see that this one fails and we can find out what is the reason for the failure as I said it is because contact app was not deployed so we deploy this app now you can see here that I don't have to leave the debugger so I can actually deploy new Beeple processes just saying deploy and as long as the debugger controls are here I can still use the debugger now I start again my client and again because the breakpoint is set and the debugger is running I'm stopping here then I can go through a step over the receive step over the assign then the invoke now of course works and I can check the results of the concatenation and that should be in concatenate out and the return is ex expected hello world the next step then sets hello world out here hello world out and if we step over that then we have the reply and our test succeeds